Hello and welcome to this week's Angel Oracle card reading for a week commencing the 22nd of April 2024. My name is Ray and I'm a guide who helps you remember your divine presence so that you can heal your past, find your life purpose, create your future, raise your vibration, remember why you are here, come out of that spiritual closet and take the steps on your spiritual journey to spread your wings and soar. Now, this week we're going to be using Carl Gray's Keepers of the Light Oracle cards. But as always, before we get into this week's reading, I would like to say thank you so, so much for your continued support. It really does mean a lot to me to be able to do a service to you and for you to trust me enough to use my services. So thank you so, so much. And before we get into this week's reading, um, please do check out everything that I have to offer. Um, I've got the Future Life Regression Training happening in July. Um, so if you want to become a future life progression practitioner um, and add that to your existing therapy or as something new, then please do check that out. And I'm going to be at a couple of wellness events. So at Durham Detling in uh, June and then at the Little Shard in July. So do look out for those as well. It'll be great to see you in person at one of these events. So as always, I'll give the cards a quick cleanse and a bless. So, what does everyone who's watching this need to know for their highest good for week commencing the 22nd of April 2024? What does everyone who's watching this need to know for their highest good? Oh, okay. Excuse me. we we'll definitely go with that one. What does everyone who's watching this know for their highest good for week commencing the 22nd of April 2024? So, we'll go with the card that jumped out for us. Okay, so let's see what we've got. So the card that jumped out was Rada, Soul Flame, Rediscover a Lost Part of Yourself, Experience Relationship, Harmony and Healing. Isn't that a beautiful card? Move that away from the light. Hilarion, Divine Healing, Honour Your Sensitivity, Retreat, Recharge and Heal, Your Light Can Support Others. And Master Buddha, Increased Awareness, Deep connection, trust your inner voice. Okay, so this week um, it's a personal um, reading again for you um, to really um, step into who you are supposed to be, how you are supposed to show up in the world at the moment. So what they're saying this week is you need to actually find balance and harmony within yourself to actually find any parts of you that may have got lost along the way. You know, what were your dreams, aspirations as a child, as a young person? Are you doing those now? Did you let those dreams go? Well, why don't you connect with those dreams, those thoughts now, and see how you can bring them into your current life, to light your soul, to make you feel good, to, to raise your vibration, to actually fall in love with yourself again. You know, this is a week um, where you can actually fall in love with yourself again to actually rediscover parts of yourself that you may have buried um, because everyday life has gone in the way. You've grown up. You don't have those childhood uh, dreams and thoughts anymore. But it's time to reconnect with those. So this week, take the time to go within, you know, to breathe, reconnect with who you truly are, who you once were. Um, you know, when you were a child, when you had all these dreams, these ambitions. And allow yourself to heal, to heal from any slights or wrongs that you feel stopped you from achieving those dreams um, that, you know, came about, that got those dreams, those ideas, those aspirations. Um, you know, out, out of the way, you know, taking a back seat. And trust what guidance you're given, you know, trust that you'll be guided back to the right experiences to remember, to learn from. You know, trust that you'll be guided to find ways of falling in love with yourself. Um, again, whether that is looking back um, at things you enjoy doing in the past, whether that's actually taking care of yourself now, you know, 
um, treating yourself to a dinner, to flowers, you know, something that really lights you up, makes you feel loved um, with, with yourself. And be aware of any sensitivity that may come up with regards to this. And don't allow anyone else's thoughts or words to influence how you feel, how you react. You know, honour your sensitivity. Do the healing within this week. Don't worry about what other people say. You concentrate on yourself this week to bring your healing back. Because once you've actually start calling all those parts of yourself back, you find that life, that passion again, you'll be amazed at what you can actually achieve in your life what new things you'll draw to you and actually you'll have a better outlook on life um, which you know allows you to move forward to actually fulfill your purpose in this lifetime and of course if you need help with healing remembering then there are so many guided meditations online you just need to google go on youtube you know or contact people like myself who can help you with that you know, there are many of us out there that can help with many different aspects of, you know, remembering your childhood past, bringing back all that goodness, you know, healing, falling in love with yourself again. You know, so and you, you know, and know you don't have to do this alone. You know, we can help you. The angels can help you. Your guides can help you. So don't be afraid to actually connect and find people to help you with this. And that's really all there. Yeah, that's really all they're giving me this week. Um, so this week really is for you to actually find a deeper connection within yourself, to actually start that healing process, to continue that healing process, to fall in love with yourself again, to fall in love with life, to actually retrieve the parts of you that you let go as you got into your adulthood. Bring those back in reconnect them and you'll be amazed at what's going to what you will achieve what will come into your life so as always this is my interpretation of the cards and you may get a completely different reading or interpretation that is absolutely fine i draw these cards for what you need to know for your highest good so the cards again are rada soul flame rediscover a lost part of yourself experience relationship harmony and healing now, of course, I've said this and um, the guidance I was given for yourself, but it may be you look at this card and go, actually, there's relationships that need healing. Then look at healing those. Hilarion, divine healing. Honour your sensitivity, retreat and recharge and heal. Your light can support others. When you actually take the time to heal, to actually go within, that lights up the light within you that allows you to then go on and help others. And Master Buddha, increased awareness, deep connection, trust your inner voice. With all the work that you're doing when you go within this week, you can actually connect to higher consciousness to actually get those insights that you need um, to help you move forward in your life. So please do let me know in the comments or message me privately. Um, how this reading resonated with you, whether it made sense, whether you got your own interpretation, whether one card stood out more than the others. I always reply to everyone who comments or messages privately, so please don't be shy. And of course, don't forget to check out my show, Angels and Destiny, which if you're watching this on Sunday the 21st, is taking place tomorrow, uh, Monday the 22nd at 8pm UK time. If you're watching this on Monday, then um, it's this evening. If you're watching later in the week, then watch the replay. Um, my guest is the beautiful Teresa Campos, and I'm really looking forward to having that conversation with her. And for those that are interested, Graham and I are back doing the Angels and Spirits show on Tuesday the 23rd. So on Tuesday, uh, join us at 7 p.m. UK time, 2 p.m. Eastern, um, where Graham and I will bring you messages from spirits and angels. So um, do check that out. Check out everything else I do. And don't forget, if you feel lost or stuck and you want some guidance or clarity, then feel free to um, connect with me and we can arrange a free 20 minute clarity call to see where you are, where you can go and whether I can help you get there. Have a wonderful week and I'll speak to you next week. Take care. Bye.